Hey everybody, thanks for watching. All right, further on my trip in Arizona, I'm a follower of Alex on Instagram. Obviously, he puts up some really uh, articulate posts about the greats of golf and uh, moving on to how we can actually do something with what they did. And uh, you, well, I'm here at, uh, say it for me. Tathada. Tathada Golf. Yeah. You, Alex and Tathada are maybe the biggest advertiser on Be Better Golf. <laughs> Before almost every video you see of Be Better Golf, you see a Tathada Golf uh, video. You see Alex say, I was a mid-level top 200 <laughs> player. And then I was an All-American, top 10, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then and I've watched the full thing a couple of times. So I know quite a bit of your history just through the commercial. Yeah. But uh, let's, let's do, check this out, Hugh. We got a golf school going on over here. Sta stations, we'll, we'll go through this whole thing. A little dojo style building here at McCormick Ranch in uh, Scottsdale. A gym and then all these other stations. So we're gonna get into some of these exercises, but. Give me your basic idea of uh, what goes on here. Well, we wanted to, to look at how we could make an authentic training dojo mm -hmm. uh, for the game of golf. So Brian Hepler, my teacher, the founder of Tathada Golf, he uh, started with the golfing machine and mm -hmm. some other disciplines back in the 80s. And that kind of bumped him into some, some great uh, learning with uh, a Mac O'Grady. 278 hours with Mac mm -hmm. in 06, 07, 08 time period. And all while training in these different golf disciplines was also looking at, well, how do we, how do we move the mind or how do we train the mind to, to look at what, what is Tiger Woods' mental training from his mom's side and what, is, um, what could he do from a martial art perspective to all from the heart of a player. Yeah. Um, so that search from... Uh, through those years sort of led him to look at how he could create a training program that would walk you through learning the game of golf, but in a progression that sort of mimicked a martial art. Uh, one of my friends came to your golf school here and, and he hit very few golf balls, yeah. but he did a lot of drills. So yeah. take us through some of uh, the positions that you guys like and some of the feels that you're using to get people to, like I always say, the feels are the language of the body. Right. So uh, uh, how you kind of teach somebody in their body how it might feel to get into these positions that we see on the, right. the, the board over Right, here. so this, this side of the pr property is the swing training. So all of the, you see our wall of greats there, that's all golf swing pictures yeah. of the greats. So we look at six plus majors mm -hmm. and sort of the commonalities between those players. Um, we also, you know, Greg Norman's on there, mm -hmm. 337 weeks at world number one. He yep. kind of gets a pass. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, but... So it kind of walks you through, I guess, traditional positions, set up, take away, top of backswing, moving down to level, and then thrusting yeah. through impact, all that. But it correlates to these stations. So, so you can see here we've got... These, these little... Yeah, so there's, it kind of walks you through like a museum. You've got, on the sign here, this would be the backswing station. So yeah. there's 11 things to do here, and it kind of walks you through. So the students know... Is a smash ball? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So the students kind of walk you through uh, or, or walk through where they're at based on um, right. what they're working on. Okay. So, so somebody comes here and they, they have a pretty good down, pretty good backswing, pretty good transition, but then about somewhere in the downswing they're, they're losing it. You might just kind of skip all the way to that part or you will walk them through. Right. The we would, no, we would, well, we would look at, well, how to set up affect takeaway and then okay. how does takeaway affect the top of backswing and then they would learn all that through the the 60-day program so our online course is sort of the right, book right. for the class so basically everybody who comes here to to here has done it at home and has a pretty good idea they're they're learning yeah. the language yeah yeah right. so they're going through the basics let's do uh let's go over here because this is the one i see you do a lot on instagram yeah what do you want me to do so this would be so here <laughs> I can kind of demonstrate for you. Yeah, let me, yeah. Let me get in here. So we'd look at, from a, uh, from a striking perspective, making it less about positions and big scientific words and more about, okay, what would it feel like if I needed to create leverage up here to get strong into here? Or what okay. would the right arm do, Brace in your case, if I was here. looking to create less of this look and a weak look here and more of a strong look like a Nicholas or a okay. uh, Sam Snead or uh -huh. some of the greats. And then we could train 
okay, well, what's the left arm doing in, in a striking pose or moving into impact to create pressure yeah. on the entire shaft into the face? And then we could also obviously work on both arms. Yeah, and I notice in your, in your body and your legs, you're not consciously thinking about that, but so much good stuff is happening with there. Right. Just from having this. Yeah. Do that again in your right hand. But now give me this, this, notice how this is loose and kind yeah. of limp and uh -huh. behind yeah. you. Make a fist in this hand so it's strong. Oh, yeah, I've seen you do that. Right, so this is, yeah, or just straight, just straight down. So like Nicholas's left arm and impact oh, there. Like yeah, so it holds this left shoulder in the shot. Yeah. Doesn't come out of it. Doesn't right, open. right, because that left rib pops, the whole thing comes undone. Yeah, yeah and cool. notice what you're feeling yeah. in your right shoulder and your right pack there how it's kind of loading forward to put this in a golf swing yet anyway right yeah i like how it's tilted so you wouldn't like i wouldn't try to hit this thing flush by going like that i would right good that's what i was working yeah. on my swing. I, yeah i just wouldn't go right right there we go like if if mom told you to right, not to knock right. the dust out of the carpet kind of thing yeah. what would it yeah. look like to create leverage what would it look like to create strength to strike something so that the entire body's striking not just my hands not just my arms so that everything's moving together so from a martial art perspective mm -hmm. the energy of how i strike something is a part of the position that i'm looking to create because if i don't right. have the energy right. right if i don't have a sense of where i'm going then the positions right. don't really matter yeah, the energy will build the position the position won't necessarily do anything for the energy right uh, so this is tilted a little different. This is more straight up and yeah, down. Yeah, so this would be uh, more from a stock, from a from a stock perspective uh -huh. of uh, pictures of of Nicholas Hogan of the feeling of okay, I've got the left arm and the shaft in a straight line in the middle of my body at impact. So yeah, if you notice from here, yeah, straight, yeah. So yeah. and also, if I'm going to strike this, you notice the left shoulder is Swing down this way. and Huge holding so that the the. Uh, holding me in the shot the here. doesn't block you too much. Yeah. So if I'm here and I'm gonna come into here, notice this left shoulder's shrugged down in this direction. Yeah, and the Right, versus most people that we see or most students in general have this sense of this left rib popping and coming out of the shot mm -hmm. or early extending or all those yeah. words that golfers use. So there's yeah. a sense of strength here because if you look at Nicholas's shoulders, the left shoulder shrugged down, the right shoulder is loaded forward in this direction but if you don't quite know what you're looking at you'd see this but he's he's also tilted in this direction yeah so what's happening in the hands and arms in terms of if I'm gonna strike something with strength the pecs the shoulders how this all works if I took this back to setup you'd see it's here mm -hmm. yeah but the students learn how to get the club just basically in front of them or yeah, because I've always, a, a while ago, I used to try that impact fix thing where you go here, that's impact, and right. then you try to do it. But you guys are saying, no, impact is a lot closer to address than that. Well, impact's going to vary. So yeah. based on the shot you're hitting, based on the lie, based on the trajectory. So there's a lot of factors, but from a basic, very, very basic stock seven iron so yeah, I can, um, I perspective, can, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is more just like that. Right less yeah i can see how i want to do this but yeah you, you you guys are having the shoulder work into the shot like this well not than necessarily like that like no that. it'd be so do that again how's the shoulder working so now notice where this wrist wants to go yeah in this direction mm -hmm. so give me firm and strong oh, okay, here gotcha. like that. Yeah. there that's better yeah definitely i when i want to be firm with it i kind of let it out a lot more right than, because the pressure is going to make the I, won't stick react to your center. So the students that have come here have already learned a lot of movements through the program. So yeah. when they get here, they're, they're a little bit inept to, to move in the way that the grapes are. But this is sort of where we run the golf school. So every one of those students over there has gone through the 60-day program and has kind of learned the language and mm -hmm. seen the greats move. Thanks for watching, everybody. There are two more long form videos with Alex at Tejata Golf in Arizona coming up on the channel.
I'll make a playlist just for Tahatha Golf. So you guys, if uh, put in the comments if anybody has done that 60-day program, and just let me and the other be, be better golfers know kind of what you thought of it. And uh, and if you haven't done it, just let me know your your initial impressions of it. I would be interested to hear other people's experiences. Here you guys are seeing on the screen, uh, directing you to go to the BeBetterGolf.net Pro Shop. At the Pro Shop, uh, just put together some things for uh, t-shirts and uh, ball markers and some amazing Be Better Golf tour towels. Can really help uh, support the channel and get some really cool stuff as I'm trying to travel more to interview different uh golf people some of the recommendations that people have uh subscribers have had hey you should interview this guy or that guy well that can happen uh through uh your support on uh at the pro shop thanks everybody for watching and uh click like subscribe and uh turn on post notifications see you there